My name is Glenda Hewitt. I'm the teacher at the Warrigan Boyle Memorial Kindergarten. We're part of the Yarri Ambiac Shire Cluster and we're situated in the northwest part of Victoria, about three and a half hours from Melbourne. We're a small town of about 2,000 people. Kookaburra. How many? Three. Ooh, it's hard to count while you're doing it. Yeah. Let's all help it. Let's count again. Kookaburra. How many? Four. Four. The data for Warwick Nabeel and the Yarri Ambiak Shire in general has been fairly disappointing in terms of children's literacy and numeracy knowledge, but literacy knowledge in particular. And in response to that, we've had some funding from the Department of Education to, um, to be a part of the Linking Learning Project. And so as a consequence of that, I think as a community banded together to, have some, to develop some really strong supportive mechanisms to help children um, and, and have developed some better literacy outcomes for children. There is a significant link between the socioeconomic status of families and literacy outcomes for children. So if we can bridge that gap in some way, I think that that will help us to make significant inroads into literacy and you know, literacy knowledge and what that data actually says at the end um, from school. So part of that then is making some links with the secondary college, which is a, a, something that we've never done before because you know we just went we made strong links with the primary schools but we've never had a link with a secondary college and so this has been just a wonderful initiative which has built relationships with them as well. Ow! Ow! Eee! cried Mr McGee. Where is that flea that is biting me? What's he doing in these pictures? Taking his clothes off, yeah. I think he's gonna go in the water. In the water? He squawked and he squealed, he rocked and he reeled. Ow! Ow! Eee! cried Mr McGee. They've developed a program up there where the students can take that as one of their electives from school and so they come down and work. And what I've done here is we've done lots of training with the students so that and have developed the program that works best for the ch for children of this age. And so we've talked lots about that holistic learning and that you know, intentional teaching and the opportunities that I wanted the students to do. And so for me, we started off as a basis when the students came in as first building those relationships that I talked about. After we'd done that, then we can start to um, just be a part of the play and understand the value of oral language in terms of play and support them to be able to do some of that sustained conversation and questioning. So we've done some um, sessions on helping them to do that. Then we move from that to, to talking about annotating and annotating children's work, respecting children's work and asking permission to write on their work first, but annotating what they've done. And so for the students, that is just relating the stories that the children attach to their drawings. Then the rhyme, and then a rainbow appeared. And that's a great word. <laughs> and then a rainbow appeared. Appeared. appeared's a great word to choose. We want literacy to be a a memory that comes to children as being a warm, um, a, an inviting, a pleasurable experience. And if uh, they've got a special big friend that comes down from the high school and comes to read stories and comes to play with them and comes to build with them. And what better way can we start to develop literacy learning and, and a love of literacy? Because that's what we have to have, a disposition to want to do it to start with. She would it. Yeah. Um, they're a bird that lives in Japan. Japan? And they climb up this tree and then take off from the branches. What is that That is a beautiful albatross. <coughs> it looks like um, um, a seagull. He has some similarities to a seagull. What things about him the, are similar? Well, because it's exactly the same colour. The colours are very similar, you're but right. The bit, but the wings are bigger. Excellent, the wings are bigger. My name's Melanie Wallace and I'm the president of the Kindergarten Committee this year. There's a really strong sense of community here at the kindergarten and I think Glenda's done a fantastic job of facilitating those relationships in the community. 
Um, so the kinder is a very welcome environment and people in the community who have skills or talents or are doing particular projects of interest are really sought out and invited to come and share those things with the children.